Hi everyone, welcome back to Take A Review. Now, if you've seen some of my recent videos, you'll know that I've managed to get my hands on a SenseCat Helium Hotspot. And I wanted to share with you today a bit of a nightmare I had when deciding on its final position. Now, probably like a lot of you, you've set it up, you haven't quite decided what antenna you're gonna use, and probably like me, you've taken the, the stock antenna off and back on, tried different antennas, and one thing I did find out, just as I had my main antenna installed, ready to go, the actual cable that connects inside the actual Helium hotspot, the cable that connects the antenna from the outside internally to the, uh, the card, snapped and broke. Now, initially I went into a bit of a, you know, a bit of a panic mode, but I did manage to find a replacement that worked perfectly. And today I wanted to share with you sort of what happened and how I fixed it and with some links. So if it happens to you, you can go and buy the relevant parts and do a very, very quick, simple fix. So without further ado, let's dive in. So at the top right of the screen, you'll see obviously where the antenna cable comes out, goes through a small light bracket, and then you can see where you attach your antenna. Now, essentially that isn't secured in there. And when I was taking the antenna off and back on again, that was getting loose and eventually started to twist. And really what happened next was the cable snapped. And I'd be honest with you, I started to panic because I had no way of connecting my brand new antenna to my helium hotspot now here i've actually got the cable installed now it's a little longer than i would have liked but at the time i just liked my new 6 dbi antenna installed so i wanted to get myself up and running and just make sure that this worked now this was purchased from amazon and i'll leave a link to that um because it did come with a uh, another antenna but obviously it's no good for what we want we were just interested in this cable now i did have to take this off to get um, to get to get it clipped in here. Now that's a quite a tight fit. So what I did was take the two screws off. This just pops out, and it just gives you a better grip, so you can actually pop this in. Now it feels like you're forcing it. Um, it certainly did with mine, but you do have to apply a bit of pressure to get it to clip in, and you'll know when this is in because it'll it'll go in firmly, and you'll feel it go in. And then unfortunately, this doesn't fit through that hole there, and of course that hole because the original antenna part wasn't secured in there, that was the cause of the problem. So I've just put a bit of tie wrap, so it's fairly firm in there and shouldn't move around too much, causing any more problems here. So I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer. This, you know, sort of works perfect now. I'm seeing on average in a five day period, 25 witnesses in my area. Um, my helium generally is about between 1.5 uh, and two helium per day so I'm really pleased that so this worked perfect no complaints not ideal but it got me back up and running so thanks very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time